Hey guys, so I'm just finishing cleaning up uh, from a big suspension job. We just serviced the suspension on a 2019 TX300. So it's got air forks, uh, linkage shock, got that all done. <clears throat> and I know you guys already saw the thumbnail. We're here to talk about the 6500 kit from WP. I'm really, really excited about trying this. Let's go talk about it. All right, guys, let's talk about the 6500 kit and why I'm actually doing it. So I've already had some comments online uh, saying, well, I thought you thought the air forks were good and uh, why are you spending all that money? So let's start with, yes, I do really like our valving setup on the air forks. I'm really, really happy with them. I could ride that bike right now as fast as I want to go and in whatever kind of terrain I want to ride in and I'd be more than happy. It's a great bike the way it's set up. With our valving in the air forks and our valving and setup on the shock, it's really good. But as a guy who is here on the YouTubes trying to provide information for you guys and a guy who is always wanting to see if there's something better, uh, I'm looking at spring forks because when I ride my 18 that has uh, TBT spring forks, it's definitely more plush and feels more cushy in the rocks. It doesn't work so great in the high speed stuff, but um, it definitely is better in the rocks. Uh, then I get onto the XC and it's better the high speed stuff and nah, it's and it's good in the rocks. It's actually very safe and very predictable in the rocks. It's just not very cushy. So I like the spring forks and I thought, well, I've heard great things about the 6500 kit. I know KYB stuff is really good, uh, but I've never tried the 6500 kit. So why not? Uh, real quick, let's talk about what it is and how much it costs. Uh, it is a WP part. It is f direct from WP Factory, who is the manufacturer for suspension for KTM. And it fits directly into the AER forks. Now, they make another uh, 6500 kit that drops into the Explore forks, uh, but this is specifically made for the Air forks, and you can't switch those two because uh, the Air forks are a little bit longer than the Explorers, and the lugs are a little bit different. So, um, you definitely want to get the right one. This setup is about $1,500 for the parts, and that includes uh, the kit, springs, and uh, I'll show you this little internal spring uh, for the compression. Anyway, I'll show you all that stuff here in a second. Um, so, because we run a little bit different spring when we do our valving in the 6500. Now, the 6500 comes valved, it's ready to just drop in, put springs on it for your weight and be good to go. Uh, but being a TBT shop, I'm going to valve it specifically for me. In doing that, I also change out a few other things. I'll, again, I'll show you that in just a bit. Let's talk about why I think spring forks are generally better and especially this style. Let me, let me just draw you something here. Normally on the AER fork, we've got outer chamber and then we got our inner and comes down to the lug and the axle over here, over here. All right, on this side, there's an air spring. So this cap here, and we have a chamber that comes down and then a rod that comes all the way down. And this right here is our spring. Effectively, this is a spring, but it's an air spring. Over here, we have the cap, cartridge, and then a rod comes all the way down and our damping is done in here. Obviously these are not to scale. I'm a terrible artist, but you see what I'm talking about. So one of my problems, one of the things that I've always felt like with this setup uh, and Kawasaki did it with uh, a big spring over here. Uh, anyway, what I think is that one leg is doing all the work of damping. Whereas on a normal bike, you've got damping, in both legs and springs in both legs. Let's draw what that would look like over here. Again, sorry for terrible drawing, but you get what I'm saying. And in a closed chamber setup, you got a thing here, down, and down, and then you have spring like that. So both forks are, you, are a spring and both forks have damping in them. And so you can really control them. You've got control over compression up top, rebound down bottom, and you can really, really control the front end of that bike very precisely. Over here, you only get one leg. So you have to really 
ramp up the valving. It's got much stiffer. Um, excuse me, I guess it'd be over here. So you'd have to ramp up the valving, make it super, super stiff because it's doing the work of two forks damping. And then the spring has to be really, really stiff because it's doing the work of two forks. Now, in theory, you know, it's all tied together here at the axle, tied together here at the triple clamps. It's all working together. And generally it really is. It's not doing a lot of this, but there is some flex like that. So I've never felt like this could even ever be as good as the two fork setup so i again i'm very happy with my setup i think it works really good everybody who's ridden my bike has been very happy with the setup like man this thing is awesome i could ride this bike it's totally cool so it's all good but i think we can be better i think the 6500 kit is going to be better because what the 6500 kit does is it deletes both of these inner chambers and drops these in and sets them up just like this. Now let's go open the box and take a look. Okay, first of all, it comes in a very, very nice box, which honestly, uh, I would have been happy to give them a hundred dollars less <laughs> for these if it didn't come in such a nice box, but you know, whatever. It does come in a very nice box. Really nice foam. Boom. And here we are, guys. So here are the cartridges. They are the same. Left to right. We've got our compression adjuster up here. Bleed here. One really cool thing about this, because one thing that people do love about the Air Forks, and one thing I like about Air Forks, is the ability to increase the preload. Uh, if you've watched this channel long, you know that I really liked my air forks on my 18 uh, XCW when I'd run a chainsaw front because I have a chainsaw mount that goes up there. And when I put, you know, basically 10 pounds of chainsaw and gas on the front, I would add a little air to the fork and it would make the bike handle better than if I didn't do that. So I like that about the air fork. Now we have that opportunity with the spring fork. We've got preload here. Compression adjustment here, bleeder here, rebound adjuster there. And again, the cool thing about this is it just drops into the forks that I already have. This is going to slide uh, in. You can see this is going to key into the bottom of the lug. And then we're going to have our spring that's going to go here. We have my springs run four fours at 185 pounds. Uh, and then we've got Preload adjuster, we pull those out. And you can see that's a really thin one. This is going to go, it's going to go in here. That is a thick one. So in here is our uh, compression base valve, just like a KYB. Um, I'm not going to take these apart right now, guys, because I'm going to do a super in depth video on installing these. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because I. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go deep, deep into this, showing how we valve it, what we do, um, all that good stuff. But for the purposes of this video, imagine a KYB internal valve setup, like on the Yamahas, it's got that plastic free piston. Um, on the KTMs, it's got uh, just the normal, this is going to look just like the KTM one, because it is a KTM one. It's going to have a, a base valve here and then it's going to have a spring on top of it and now we run i'm running the 12 newton meter spring which is a little bit lighter than what comes in this because what that spring does is as this gets pushed up like that it's got a mid valve in here uh that as this pushes it's going to push the piston through and it's going to control the rebound as it comes back but then up in here it's going to push the oil through here and if you hit hard it's going to use this spring the harder it pushes it's going to squeeze this spring and open up a bypass and bleed and let it move through so again i'm going to go deeper into this it's pretty cool i'm excited let me just show you how the spring goes on uh it's pretty pretty sweet setup so i put a thick uh washer there that goes up like that and again, it's just like a normal twin chamber setup. So we got a rebound rod here. And we got this, which is going to, this is going to key into the bottom of the fork. Nylon washer here to protect it against the spring. Come on. 
like that. I'm not going to screw it down tight. It doesn't matter, but there we go. That's what it looks like, guys. And I, uh, I'm really excited to try these things out. I think they're going to be pretty cool. It's really set up. It's basically a copy of the KYB <laughs> uh, <coughs> set up. And it's very close to what they had on like my 2012 300XC that had the internal bladder. I like this way better because we don't have to mess with nitrogen. That's a really good thing. Uh, not that the nitrogen thing was a big deal. We have all the setup, but this is kind of a pain to service and you had to worry about leaks and things like that wearing out. Uh, this thing is going to be way, way, way easier to deal with. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys, because I'm going to be tearing these things completely down to nothing, revalving it for me specifically, putting it in the bike, and then tons and tons and tons of testing. I really think that what this is going to do is it's going to provide that little bit more plushness for just trail riding and, uh, you know, that plushness also helps with, you know, fatigue and things like that in a race. I love the way the bike handles right now. It handles really well. It's very predictable. It's very fast. It's laser-like in its handling. Uh, I like that a lot. I think this isn't going to give anything up, but it will be a little more plush. So that's going to be cool. I will let you guys know. Massive thank you to Shane uh, McCormick from the Behind the Bars Brop Shop over in Denver, who is part of why we're doing this. We're doing two sets, his and mine, and I'm going to be showing him, so I'll be filming that too. So I'm going to film mine, and then I'm going to film me showing him how to do it. So be tons of content coming on these forks, guys. I'm excited. You guys can joke and whatever about, you know, I thought you said the thing was good. They are good. These just might be better. Uh, I just want to test everything out. So if you don't have the budget, you can feel good about valving or just leaving your other forks alone. But if you do have the budget, maybe you think about these. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you guys on the next one.